Hello friends, welcome. Now, the last topic in basics of duality. Use of dual in solving minimization linear programming problem. As we know that in case of minimization or say in case of maximization also, but the, our special focus is on minimization problem. In case of minimization problem, mostly the signs of the constraints are greater than or equal to or many a times all the constraints having greater than or equal to sign. In that type of cases, the cases of linear programming problem having the constraints with sign of greater than or equal to, or equal to we have to use artificial variable and that's why we have to use BGAM method. But as we know that comparatively BGAM method is complex or tedious. As a student, I can say that. Now, is there anything we can do with minimization problem which can be easy against the BGAM method? Yes, there is a way out. If we take the minimization problem of linear programming as primal, we know that with minimization there will be or there must be all the signs of constraints greater than or equal to. But if we write it's dual, it will be a maximization problem with less than or equal to sign. So, by introducing only slack variables, we can solve the problem through simplex method. So, if we convert the minimization LPP into a maximization LPP through dual, we can solve the problem without using the BGM method. That is great thing as a student I prefer this and we are going to solve uh, an example which we had already solved through BGAM method now through dual as maximization problem uh, in the dual uh, say in case of discussion of BGAM method we had first taken this case only two constraints are there but both have greater than or equal to sign so we had used BGAM method and we had to prepare four simplex tables. Then only the solution was possible and in that case also the value of one of the basic variables was zero. So now let us see what happens with the same problem if we solve it as a maximization problem through duality. Considering this as primal. Let us first write it dual. Maximize. And what is going to happen in our old style? We will have two variables y1 and y2. And we shall have now two constraints. But these two values, right hand side values are going to be the coefficients in case of objective function. Z star or say Zy equals to 4800 y1 plus 7200 y2 subject to hmm, 20 y1 plus 80 y2 less than or equal to 40 50 y1 plus 50 y2 less than or equal to 24 and y1 and y2 both are greater than or equal to 0 or negative. This is the dual of our original LPP, which is minimization case. Now, let us simplify this. We have less than or equal to sign. So, we will have to introduce only two slack variables and the simplified version with equalities will be minim uh, sorry, maximize Z star equals to 4800 Y1 plus 7200 y2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2 because coefficients of slack variables are always 0 in the objective function because there is no earning or no contribution margin to be earned from the slack variables slack variables only represent the unused capacity or surplus capacity subject to 20 y1 plus 80 y2 plus s1 equals to 40 and the second will be 50 y1 plus 50 y2 plus s2 equals to 24 and now we have four variables y1 y2 
S1 and S2 all are non-negative. Now we can solve this problem through simplex method and not the big M method. In the next lecture we are going to prepare first simplex table and to arrive at the initial solution of this linear programming problem. I suggest you to solve this problem through graphic method. Both this problem through graphic method. Thank you very much.